What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from Thinking Amadou here, welcoming you to another episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we got a lot of our investigation done. Not all of it, but most of it, I think. So, of course, Monotaro has finished doing his investigation of the program. A little bit sussed out about Mon or, uh, Monotaro doing some of the investigation, but you know what? He's here for us, Mommy, and we're okay with that. Um, but... Yeah, so let's go ahead and get uh, logged out. Um, so it's just you and me. We should log out too. By the way. By the way, did something happen between you and Kaido? Huh? What? Well. When he logged out, uh, when he logged out a little while ago, he looked like he was in a bad mood. Sorry. Sorry, that's probably boy my fault. Uh, Shuichi um, Sayahara. That's a dog. Ah. I pulled the device off my head and the real world appeared before me. Shuichi! Well, Shuichi, uh, isn't the real world way better than some virtual reality? <laughs> anyway, I felt so lonely without you. Uh, apologize for making me feel unloved. Uh, hey. There's nothing. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask you. Mm hmm? Hmm? I totally didn't draw anything on your tummy while you were logged in, okay? What? It's a lie. I'm kidding. Uh, so, what do you want to ask? Is that all right? You planned to meet Mew on the roof, right? Did you end up meeting her? Hmm. Oh, so you know about that, Shuichi. Impressive, Mr. Ultimate Detective. Okay. Well, then I'll tell you what happened. Uh, I never met up with a Mew. I couldn't get that rooftop because uh, it was, I like, could not get to the rooftop because it was log. Huh? Log? Um... After I gave up and went back to the salon, I searched the secret of the outside um... world. Is that true, Kokichi? Mm -hmm. hmm? Are you doubting me? That's... Can someone verify that you were at the salon the entire time? Did anyone meet you there? Hmm. Or did you meet anyone there? No, I don't even have a witness. Uh... Right? But you can say there's no witness, and I can, and, or, but you can also say there's no witness to prove that I wasn't there, right. unless you saw the saloon empty yourself. Anyway. Well, it's up to you whether you want to believe me or not. Shuichi. But you shouldn't doubt me like that. We're partners, you know. Oh, God. Which one is it? Did Kokichi meet with Mew or not? Is he lying or is he telling the truth? This is exactly the problem with him being the center focus is that there are so many question marks. Which is it? Kokichi in the salon is an out of the truth bullet section of the handbook. Hey! I've been waiting for you, Shuichi. I'm sure Walker already told you, but I finally finished analyzing the entire program. Okay. I'm starting to put together a lot of information or important facts, so here they are. Is he really trying to be our friend? At least a a little bit at least. The first person who was who tampered with this program was Mommy, like we suspected. Hmm. Mommy has an eccentric way of writing code, so I knew it was her right away. Oh. Well, I guess her personality wasn't the only eccentric thing about her. Wait a minute. So what does she tamper with? Um. A few things, but I'll share the first one with you. So. It looks like Mommy deleted a lot of objects from the Killing Game Simulator. Hmm. She said she deleted anything that could be used as a weapon. But in that case... Why is there a hammer? Okay. That's true. Only the hammer was left. But why it was it was left? Huh? The way the program was written, it makes it seem like she did it on purpose. On purpose. Then she did add, did she add anything? We found a cell phone in the virtual world. Hmm. Nope, that cell phone was an original feature of the program. That implies Mew hid the fact or that fact with us, which means um, all what we added were the two maps. The rest of it's already part of the program. By the way, by the way, uh, while we were talking about the objects, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, we used the signboard to cross the river, but could we have used something else as a bridge? Hmm. Hmm. I didn't see anything that could have been used as a bridge to cross the river. So only the signboard could have been used as a bridge. Hmm. So, the next thing she tampered with... Okey well, it looks like she also tampered with certain parameters of the program. Huh? Parameters? Um... Everything in the program was categorized as a human or a non-human object. Of course, everyone's avatar was assigned as a human parameter. Really? But for some reason, Mommy gave her avatar a non-human object parameter. What?
She gave herself a non-human object parameter. That's... And what happens when you become an object? Hmm. The difference... Well, the difference is only for identification purposes, so it probably didn't affect anything. Well... If it didn't affect anything, then why would she have gone out of her way to do that? Ah. Perhaps it was something to, to do with the next thing that she tampered with. So. Mommy added a wall that didn't originally exist within the program. The coordinates of the virtual world are represented on the X and Y axis. And as seen, Mommy added a wall that runs the length of the Y axis. Huh? She created an additional wall. There were walls in all four directions and two down the Y axis. But you're positive there was only one? Okay. Yep, it's definitely the only one. What does that mean? Which wall was the one that Mew added? What would the world or what was the world like originally? Mew said there wasn't anything past the wall. Was that another lie? Also looks like there was extra. The extra wall was given a special setting, a setting that allows non-human objects to pass through it. A setting that allows non-human objects to pass through it. It allows obstacles through. I see. I see. Uh, that's very interesting. Hey, hey. So, uh, are those all the things she tampered ah. with? Ah, there's one more thing. Mm. Um. One of you guys also had a strange setting given to their avatar. Huh? A strange setting. Okay. Yeah, there's a setting made it so that they would be able to, are unable to move if mommy touched them. What? Whoa, whoa, what, 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 whoa, whoa. A setting that made it so that they would be unable to move if mommy touched them. Then? So if Mew touched them, their avatar would become paralyzed? Hey. Who was it? Oh. Oh, it was Kukichi. Huh? It was me. I didn't even know that. <laughs> uh, well, duh. I wouldn't know. Or duh. I wouldn't know. I never touched me in that world. I see. I see. I didn't even notice. Uh, Okie dokie. That's all I have to report. Well, do you think it'll help you guys out? Okay. That helps a lot. Thanks. Mew's avatar was added. has been updated to the truthful section of the handbook. The wall added by Mew has been added to the built, uh, handbook. Setting on Kokichi's avatar has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Ah. I should probably tell you this too, though it's probably not related to the case. So. Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you all logged in the first time. Uh, An uh, error? Hmm. The contestants of the error, or the contents of the error are unknown, so I cannot provide any details. But something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you all logged in. Well. I don't think anyone's avatar was acting strange though. What kind of error could it be? That's important information. Avatar error has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopad. This is where I think Kokichi knew some of Maki's plan, or uh, Mew's plan, uh, and flipped some of the parameters. Ah, oh, there we go. We're gonna figure this out. Whoa. Okay, everyone. Time for the class trial. You know, that thing where everyone stands in a circle and talks about the dead body. Hmm? Low energy? Me? No, no, I'm excited. Really. I'm just taking a little break right now. When I'm done, I'll be my usual energized self. Yep, I'll be way more energized later. Anyway... That's all. Getting comfortable. Sorry, I need to get. I need to make sure that I get comfortable here because woo, this hey. is about to be some trial. You seem like you're not into it at all. Uh, we don't have to do this class trial, you know. <laughs> but it's gonna start, huh? We can no stop it anymore. You're right. No, we can't. So, this is all I can tell you guys. But I don't want any of you to forget. I... I'm your friend. What? Huh? He just decided we're friends? Thank you. 
Thank you. Got to feel relieved. <laughs> Don't worry, Monotaro. Shuichi will get revenge from you's death. That's so mean. And then he'll get that revenge by finding the culprit among us. Uh, he's right. The culprit is someone here. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so, so much. When the class trial is over, I hope we can all get to know each other a bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that kind of line triggers the death flag. Okay. I want to start a fresh start. I want to make up for my past mistakes. Hey. That too. Bye. Meeting you all has really... Sorry. Sorry, it's nothing. I'll save it for after the class trial's finished. Yeah. Yeah, the flag is rising. Mm -hmm. uh, what? What was that? I think I heard something over there. All right. I'll go check it out all by myself. Yeah. The, so long. It, Farewell. What did you say? It's waving in the wind. Uh, quit screwing around. Hurry up and let's go. Got to do his best. Uh, got to do his best to even a little bit use or be even a little bit useful for wow. everyone. I'm so excited. I'll definitely expose the culprit <laughs> this time. Psh. What's so exciting about this? With conflicting emotions in our heart, we head into the Shrine of Judgment. Oh, I, I figured it would, like, actually get me to the Shrine of Judgment. It did not. Now, see, this is where we're going to start getting to the point where it's all super, super low. Yeah, we're, we're starting to get uh, there. Um, Looks like that's everyone. Yeah. Oh, there's everyone, huh? There are a lot less of us now. It's, plain to see. it's just half of what we started with. Unfortunately. It's because we allowed this game to continue and we must stop it somehow. Right. Uh, but we can't stop now. We can't let a fun end. Don't. Cut it out. I am certain this trial will be the last one. Hey. Let's focus on surviving this class trial first. Yes. You're right. If we mess up here, our numbers will go down even quicker. And it'll only be the culprit left. But, but that might be okay. Uh, maybe that's another way to stop the killing game. Uh, after we all die, then the killing game would end, right? What? Don't say stupid crap like that. It's pointless if we all die. Okay. Well, if we don't have, we don't have to worry if we get the ultimate detective on our You're side. Right. Yeah, it's time for the detective to shine, Suichi. Please keep up the good work. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll do my best. Yeah, I have to keep it together. This is the only talent or time my talent can shine. It's not just saving my life. It's everyone else's life that's also on the line. If I can't find the truth, then everyone will be sacrificed. And I will never let that happen. Come on, Hey, man. Shuichi. You're getting all tense. Huh? What? I mean... Pfft, didn't I tell you before? Shuichi, don't carry the burden all... You get it? And didn't I tell you before not to get in the way, Kaido? Huh? Huh? What's your problem? You really don't get it. We're all relying on Suichi to carry our asses through this class trial, okay? You're like a parrot repeating the same lines over and over. You're bothering oh, him. No. I think that this is the most annoying thing you can do, Shuichi. Or to Shuichi, you know that? Huh? What do you mean? I'm not... Shut up. Kokichi, you're annoying. Please don't. Whoa, a killer girl's glaring at me. I was only kidding around. Maki's glare seemed to do the trick, but Kokichi turned around, dejected. Jeez. Finally, get pest- or finally, that pest is gone. Thanks, Maki Roll. <sighs> Just suck it up, Kaido. Now is not time to be bickering with each other. Got it. My bad, sorry. Um. Kaido, I'm okay. Hmm? Well. I know you, what you want to say, Kaido. You don't have to worry. I believe I in see. you. In that case, I'll believe in you, and I won't say anything else. Shuichi. But you ha if you have any problems, let me know, and I'll help you, because I'm here for you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. My problem is you're hiding your problem. That's my problem right now. 
You are literally hiding your problem. Can I talk to you? Because you're hiding your problem, and this is our problem. I believe in you. I believe in you, and, and won't say anything else. Shuichi. But oh, psh, he just said the same thing. Damn. Okay, fine. I guess we're not gonna get his freaking like thing. Okay. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah. The eight of us got into the elevator. That's crazy. There's seven characters other than myself. And the door shut behind us. This is the elevator scene that we've been waiting for the entire game. The spaced out elevator scene. I know only two people have died since our last elevator scene. But this is the elevator scene we've been waiting for. And like that, we've descended. Yeah, look at that space. It was dead quiet. I The only sound I could hear was the beating of my heart between my ears. And my body was trembling. The more I tried to control it, the worse it got. There's no way to get used to it, really. The fear of death. We were all fighting it, trying to be courageous. We all felt as though we were going through our own executions. No, not an execution. A test of our will to survive. Finally, the elevator stopped and the door opened. And though I couldn't explain it, my body stopped trembling. Welcome! Go ahead and stand behind the open podium! Whoa. Oh! Uh-oh. Move your asses. You don't want to see what I'll do to you. Uh, you keep father waiting. Huh? Wait, is he back to normal? Why? Huh? You not friend anymore? <laughs> You jerk must feel pretty slick using Monotaro's forgetfulness to befriend him! Uh, he just decided it on his own that we were friends. You bastard! But I won't let you guys trick Monotaro anymore! And he's already forgotten! He may have forgotten that he was on Daddy's side, but now he's forgotten that he had forgotten that he was on Daddy's side! Thanks to me, I smacked the stuffing out of him! Eh, yeah, how confusing. Uh, well, whatever. Really? I can't remember. But one of you guys is culprit, right? I I can't be in the same room as Killer. It's dangerous. Yay. I'm going to lock myself in my room and then even set up a barricade. Yeah. Another death flag. Anyway. Uh, let's get it started. The heart is racing for excitement as the black into the spotless face off. Uh, oh my god, Kokichi. We went to the podiums as always. We knew what we had to do and there was no protest left in us. It's already the fourth time. The fourth class trial is about to begin. Mew Iruma, the ultimate inventor. She may have gotten us in a lot of trouble, but we will all miss her. Oh yeah, we will. We will definitely miss her. It's a tragedy after all. She helped me and Kaede with those cameras, gave Kibo extra functions, and in the end, she had done a lot for us. And the culprit that killed her... Is one of us. God, what's scary? What's scary is how intact this group is. That's That still scares me. Last trial, it was this whole entire... We had everybody from this entire cast do it. My problem is, I'm like, who from this group would be able to do it? I don't think anybody would. Kibo's the only question mark in my mind. But I still don't think he would do it. Like, he's like a medium level of sus. But I don't I don't think he would. I seriously don't. But that's the only other person that I have on my suspect list other than that boy -o down in the bottom right corner. In order to survive, I have to find the culprit. <coughs> and I will fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. only two that I have in my head are those two. And that's... That's actually really scary that those are the two that I have in my head, right? Because it could be 
anything. We don't need to add any skills. We're okay. Oh, no. Wait. Did I remember to take off the skill? Oh, shoot. I don't think I... Oh, crap. I, I hope I remembered. I hope I remembered. We'll find out. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with a basic explanation. Ah, screw it. This is tiresome. You need more motivation. I do. I really, really do. Now then, let's start this class trial. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. <laughs> Damn. What happens if the votes result in two first places? That's... Pfft, why is that actually such a valid... That's actually such a valid question. Hold on. Huh? You mean like... A tie? That's possible. There's eight of us. It means they're both the blackened. As long as one of them is correct. It's fine. Daddy, are you sure you should make a decision like that so casually? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. What game? How long are you going to keep saying that? Just ignore Kokichi. The rest of us need to work together to find the truth. Got it? We can't die here! Facts! Oh my! Himiko has become so determined! It's true! People really do change! But now she's lost what made her so unique. <laughs> That's none of your business! We should focus on the class trial. First, we need to clarify. Kaito's the culprit. How did I know you were gonna go here? Oh my god, can you believe it? Oh my god, can you believe he logged out an hour before, like everybody else, and then he killed me with the poison that I definitely found on the chair? So amazing! Can you believe that? Like that's exactly what happened. What? Say that to my face. He literally did, but okay. While we were all still logged in. Kaito logged out alone, right? Oh my god, it's almost like that's exactly the argument I expected you to come out with. Uh, you were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? Don't screw around. There's no way I'm the culprit. Kaito right. Kaito couldn't have killed Mew. It's not that he couldn't have. It's that the logic is wrong and he's immediately this is literally kokichi in a nutshell i'm going to blame somebody with some random ass logic but that's not actually logic to just kind of stir the pot which is great for trials i'm not gonna say it's not but i knew that he was coming with this logic immediately how long are you gonna keep saying that Trusted people can still kill, you know. Right, and he's right here. Like, that That I agree with. Like, here's the thing. It's so funny because Kokichi is... The, Kokichi's character is done so well. And I can't say, like, anything... Like, I, I mess around with it a little bit. But it's done so well because I can literally, as a logic-driven person, be like, I agree with that. I agree with that. That makes sense. This is what it is. But then, it's like, but why? Like... And so it, it's done, like, I, 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 Kokichi's character's done beautifully. That's all I gotta say. We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. Since Kaede. The fact that Kaido was the only one logged out is suspicious. But he's not the culprit. He can't be. He can be. But we hope he doesn't. So many options now. Out first by himself. Mew was still logged in though. That's when he poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible. Of course it's impossible, cause I didn't do it. <laughs> I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito. Any last words? What do you mean, last words? First, we need to decide if Mew is killed in the real world or the virtual world. That's where the problem lies. Kaito logged out first by himself. 
Muse Corpse. Mew was still logged in though. Because Muse Corpse showed. You poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito. No, ah, I hit the wrong button. What button is it? That's the button I want. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Muse Corpse did not show signs of the poison. That was the important portion of that. But I, you know, can't hit the right trigger button. Oh, I, that's still wrong. Okay. You saw the label on the poison bottle, right, Suichi? Even the smallest amount can kill. The expression of agony on her face definitely looked like the symptoms of poison. It wasn't, though. Which is why Kaido is the culprit. I was wrong. I can't believe I already got one wrong. That's not good. Kaito logged out first by himself. Mew was still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaido? Oh, the, it's what it said on the bottle. Okay, no, no, no. But, like, again, what it said on the bottle relates to the corpse. Like, I'm one step ahead. I need to calm he myself. Killed by poison, and the warning on the label proves it. I need to make sure that I calm myself because I am one step ahead like I usually am. So I need to, I need to show my work. I failed at doing that in math class. I would have the answer and just write down the answer. And then the teachers would be like, show your work. You, how do I know that you've got the right answer the right way? It's like, but, okay. But so, yeah. So, I need to show my work. Let's, 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 let's get in the mind frame. We're back in high school. We got to show our work, okay? Okay, got it. Pep talk over. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. Oh, but Mew's body. Which is where I was going with that. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She wasn't killed by that poison. Yep. Then what was that poison for? Probably a diversion. The culprit wanted us to think Mew died by poison. Then. What was her real cause of death? Shock. Mew's real cause of death. Only one I can think of. That was from the virtual world. Wait, that's from the virtual world. Is that, are they saying that it's not? This is oh, uh, Jesus. Mew's cause of death was the killing game simulator itself. In the virtual world, if your I, avatar takes fatal damage, ahead. your real body dies of shock. The killing game simulator itself was the reason that Mew getting hit from the lattice thing is what caused her death. Again, one step ahead. That was made clear in the program's text file. Mew received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. Exactly. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Um, Gunta has question. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? If you don't understand, then don't say anything. If Mew was killed in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world. So her cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. Yes. Uh, um... Oh... It seems like Gonta is confused, so why don't we review things a bit? Um, so we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Samugi, Gonta, and... Kaido. That NPC Kaito. Damn! Okay. Hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? And the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and the late Mew. Okay, so I did remember everybody. 
How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. Now, let's all work together. Aww, little Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. Damn! Kokichi! That was uncalled for. Someday, my chest will grow like crazy. <gasps> Let's begin, then. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. The fatal damage that me received in the virtual world. Let's pin that down. So we're gonna have to agree with something. In the virtual world, Miu was fatally injured. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Whatever did that to Miu was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! Or going to beat her with his bare hands. No. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is more likely. It's possible she was pushed from a great height. Could she have drowned? What was the specific cause of death? If we think about the condition of Miu's body, that should yield a clue. In the virtual world, Miu was fatally injured. Right. What was the condition of Miu's corpse on what like our Miu's avatar? Found frozen and collapsed in the snow uh, between the chapel and the wall where the virtual world ends. Found collapsed. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Oh, Mew's actual Whoever corpse. Did that to Mew was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer. Uh, well, I guess we're going to beat her with his bare hands. That literally Are you certain that blunt force was involved. I think strangulation is more likely. Oh shit! 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 It's possible she was pushed from a great height. Could she have drowned? The condition of Mew's corpse. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I really missed again. Ah! <laughs> I, aim. Aim is important. If this is the right answer, then aim is certainly important. But if it's the wrong answer, then that's even more funny. Yeah, it's almost like if I aimed, that would be helpful. But you know, it's fine. Got it. <laughs> Mew's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I remembered. Okay. Yeah, she looked like she suffered. Very hard to look at. Right. And the virtual world is connected to our five senses. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Yep. Knowing that... I believe Maki is correct. Mew was strangled to death. Yeah, definitely. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she suffocated. But we already removed the possibility of poison, so it can yep. only be strangulation. Yep. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest or mouth. But Mew was holding her throat. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. Yep. Oh. The Assassin Master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. <laughs> in that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. Which, unfortunately, leads me closer to Kibo, which I don't want. But it does. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. 
Yes, but there was a glitch that transpired. Yeah, if she was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Then the culprit would need a tool. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. But was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. Then they must have used something else as a rope. Something as a rope, huh? I have an idea of what that might be. I found it during the investigation. <clears throat> this is it! Yeah, okay. During the investigation, we found toilet paper outside the mansion. What is this toilet paper? What would toilet paper be doing here? I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. Gonta, no can ignore that. Whoa. Hi. Uh Gonta, what's 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 up Gonta? What you mean, Shuichi? Huh? What's wrong? What wrong? Shuichi goofing off. Not gentlemanly at all. Oh no. Oh god. Okay. It's no time for nonsense. You know can use toilet paper in place of rope. What tear too easy? Even Gonta know that, and Gonta not smart. It would tear There's too easy. No time easily. for nonsense. You know can use toilet paper. In place Objects of couldn't rope. break in the killing simulator. Yeah, 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 yeah. What tear too easy? I'll cut through your words. The toilet paper wouldn't tear. Because in a virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Breakable? <laughs> You're so dumb, Gonta. You didn't even know that? If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. Yep. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. Gonta not really understand, but... Sorry, Shuichi. Gonta was wrong. It's okay, Gonta. Don't worry about it. Killed by toilet paper. <laughs> it was a fitting end for her. <laughs> God damn, Himiko! God damn! It was... It very much was, but god damn. Okay. 